This segment is sponsored by TJ Homes. If you've decided to sell your house, it might seem like there are a million projects you need to complete before the listing goes live. But you only have so much time and so much money to spend on those home improvements. You don't want to spend weeks on projects that won't improve your home selling price. It's important you focus on those things from which you're going to get a big bang, a big return. Uh, that's why a good real estate agent will tell you where to focus your time and your money to improve your home's curb appeal. Tammy Joe Budzinski from TJ Homes is here to explain what that entails. And TJ, first it's yes. good to see you, but second, what's curb appeal? It's how your house looks from the outside. It's kind of that snap judgment that a buyer makes as they do their drive-by or they see a picture. So it's extremely important, probably one of the most important things to get people in the door. Yeah, because they have to imagine pulling up to that every day, right? They don't want to look at a, at a dump. No, they don't. And think about it. If you're scrolling through Facebook, if you're scrolling through Zillow or the MLS, what gets your attention? It's the pictures. Mm. That's and right. if that picture doesn't catch your attention, you may just pass it by when the house could be a perfect fit for you. Yeah. Okay. So you have put together a list of some of the things that folks need to do to improve their curb appeal. And yeah. the first one is refresh the exterior. What does that entail? Well, just like my home, I was leaving this morning with, oh, when did that huge cobweb come up in the corner? If I was an agent showing my home or a buyer walking in, I would have that been the first thing that I saw. Uh -huh. So we want to make sure that the exterior is washed, it's clean, the cobwebs are removed. Good. And if necessary, is a fresh coat of paint uh, something that is a, a valuable investment? Absolutely. If the paint's in good condition, the washing will probably be the most of the work. But if you've got some flaking paint and things are looking a little drab, this is where having a quick expert opinion come out and say, hey, you don't have to do the whole house, but maybe this, this area would make a huge difference for photographs. Okay, you say to perfect the entryway. What yes. all perfections do you want us to address? Well, think about this. If the front door gets you in, then the entry really sets the stage for how you feel in the home. Mm -hmm. So you really wanna make sure that your, your front entryway, how the house appears is the most important. Are your numbers on your house by the front door, are they crooked? Are they missing a number? Does the paint need to be a little bit adjusted? Do you need to have a front door color pop? You know, right now the trends are more of like what I consider Florida trend, these beautiful teals, not these dark reds anymore. Mm. So making sure that we're current in regards to trends, as long as it's fitting to the home is really important. Mm. You say put a pot of flowers by the front door and don't forget a welcome mat. Okay, let's go to landscaping because that's your number three. Yep. Now, here is my rule. So I, I, I'm going to apologize up front if I hurt somebody's feelings. Please do not put red mulch out. I ask you this question. Where do you see red mulch? Right. It doesn't grow in nature, right? It doesn't. And it's usually at commercial buildings. Oh, okay, good. So you want to stay with dark, natural tones, dark hardwood colors, because that really shows the, um, a beautiful ambiance around the home, that your eyes aren't diverted to a color of red in a flower bed. Yeah. So you want the home to be the spotlight. Mow the lawn, people, important stuff. And these are not money costing in most of these cases. Yeah. They're just little pieces that make that whole part the best picture we can present. Yeah, you say get rid of the weeds, just all that general stuff that, yep. that is so important. Okay, real quick, clean. You mentioned spider webs. What other little cleaning projects you want us to do? Um, I, gutters, 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 gutters. They need to be power washed as well. And then please remove the trees you have growing. Uh, okay. The first insight that buyers have to how you maintain that home is curb appeal. And if they see where you may have lapsed, even, you know, you know how fast plants can grow, a week can pop up in a few days. If they start seeing things coming out of space that they shouldn't, it tells you that you are not a proactive homeowner and it gets them a little nervous. Yeah, they might be nervous about what's inside. Okay, folks, Absolutely. Tammy Joe's blog this month addresses the things you need to do to create curb appeal. Check it out. We have a link to it at 13onyourside.com. Good to see you, Tammy Joe. Good to see you too. Thank you for having me on.